Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another transmission. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. I welcome any of you that have been tuning and tapping in for the past however many years I've been uploading. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because you know I love y'all that much. To any of you beautiful souls that are tuning in for the first time, welcome beloveds. I will that the way that I read, I will the messages resonate with you all today. And I will more importantly that you find some form of confirmation through this reading. I thank you so much for trusting me with your message. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I am an intuitive reader and I am also clairaudient. So the way things work is I do incorporate music into my readings and the name of the songs, lyrics within the songs, the timestamp on the clock, maybe the, the cards that are coming out, everything will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling in that moment in addition to the song that's playing and the cards that are showing maybe even the time stamp i just saw 111 so three could be a significant number i do feel like for some of you um you're in your divine feminine energy like you are having some sort of rebirth i feel like you are braving your light you're stronger now um because of that three that's also an auspicious number. I feel like you have angels and guides watching over you. Very protective energy, I feel, around you beautiful Scorpios. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever uh, this video is popped up in your feed, that was divine timing and in divine order. I also feel many of you are chosen. I saw 144. So you all are chosen. Many of you have had to go through or grow through some journey alone. You may not have had support system, a village. You've had to do a lot of the work on your own, but it has made you stronger. And it was really spirit trying to show you that you absolutely were capable of defying the odds so whatever was you know trumped up against you it's like you defied the odds you broke those barriers and that is a very beautiful and powerful energy um, I'm also wanting to tell you all that my readings are timeless so whenever this video pop up in your feed that was divine timing and in divine order and also my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones meaning if it doesn't apply just let it fly by let it go let it flow never try to force anything to be your story especially if it doesn't resonate Ashe. so without further ado we're going to go ahead do some house cleaning pay homage to the ancestors and then we shall proceed with the read Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards, and so it is, so mote it be, Ashe, 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 yo, beautiful souls. So we have on the Klizok, it is 1252. And I'm holding it like that because my cord is too short. So it's 12.52. And we have playing on the playlist, The Temperies. And it's uh, Love Maze, The Temperies. Okay. And this was, um, this came out in 1973. Some of you all could have been born in 1973. You just celebrated your 51st solar return. 
So the temperies love maze 1253. So that 1253 reduces to 10. So I'm feeling that there is absolutely some sort of karmic cycle ending, a completion, and every ending denotes that there's a new beginning. I feel something that was delayed or stuck or stagnant is now moving. I feel the wheel of fortune is turning for you. I feel the angels, the ancestors, your divine ancestors or angels, your spirit team, they are moving something along for you because whatever was keeping you you know kind of stuck whatever that cycle was that you were wrapping up or completing or learning from it's like now there's movement now the wheel can turn so something's turning around in your favor I do feel like this is also saying something could potentially be coming full circle um, the ten is giving me the ten of wands the ten of swords but I'm also seeing like the ten of cups the ten of pentacles so whatever that tough cycle was where you felt overburdened overwhelmed um, where you may have felt backstabbed betrayed deceived lied to hurt where you may have been healing from trauma uh, trauma bonds trauma trauma uh, traumatic circumstances uh, karmic circumstances it's like now you're going to feel some emotional fulfillment some financial fulfillment even I see like rewards and recognition I do see that there's something coming in and I'm hearing an influx so if you have been feeling depleted or financially constrained Strained. I feel like there will be an influx, whether this is by means of an offer, financial um, offer or blessing coming through, an answered prayer, maybe a job offer. Uh, but I do see that there's something I'm hearing promotion. Um, I'm hearing some of you all could be getting a promotion and I'm hearing a $10,000 increase. I'm hearing a $10 increase. I'm seeing a number 10 because that's what we opened up with. So this is definitely changing your circumstance. For some of you all, that could be saying that you could be getting a hundred thousand dollars you could be making six figures whatever the case may be this is a very beautiful energy that I'm picking up on because I'm feeling like this is something that you've absolutely earned it's not just given to you it's something you've earned and because of that now you can start to reap you know the rewards with this song love maze there can also be you know just that feeling of like feeling lost in love you know maybe those relationships that I was picking up on where you are completing those karmic cycles or those traumatic trauma bonds um, it's like it was very much a mystery you always felt like um, you weren't sure. You didn't feel safe. You didn't feel like you were in a safe space. Um, you may have felt abandoned or even rejected when it came to love. Maybe there were circumstances which led to divorce or led to separation or a demise of a partnership. But whatever the case, I feel like whatever those endings were, it really was the catalyst to you evolving and transforming into your authentic self to where you now have that opportunity to come into union with someone that is your divine counterpart or your cosmic companion or your spiritual partner because I'm seeing something that's destined for you now finding its way to you now coming in for you so this is a very beautiful energy so we're about to see what we have uh, what the cards have to say that's just what I'm picking up intuitively so that temperies, love maze, uh, maybe this is someone, you know, that you haven't spoken to in a while could be returning because we are in murky retrograde. That tends to bring a lot of old energy back to the forefront. A lot of it is to test to see if you've learned certain lessons, if you've gotten certain, gotten over certain circumstances. It will come back around. It will swing back around for a second time to see if you've absolutely um, resolved you know, the circumstance or you have met some sort of resolution. And if you haven't, you may find yourself having a second go round. What we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the number 81 leadership. So for many of you, you have definitely taken control of your life, the direction of your life. Many of you have lost yourselves in your work or in your career or maybe in your field of study. I feel like you have mastered something because this nine is giving like that higher, you know, that, um, hermit uh, energy where you are, you know, in a space of a solitude, but this solitude isn't like self-loathing or 
whimpering and whining. It's like really a learned space. It's a, a pause to learn, to reflect, to introspect, um, to examine uh, even. And this strengthens you. It strengthens your connection to your higher self, um, to your God frequency, to that Christ consciousness. But it also makes you very much self-sufficient and independent because you're relying on on your own autonomy to produce, to manifest, to create something. And when you think of the hermit, the hermit is a wizard. He or she knows that the answers that he seeks are found within. And so that's what that, you know, internalization is all about. It's about soul searching. Um, and in soul searching, you can identify certain things, belief systems, habits, behaviors, faults, um, ideologies that you can get rid of uh, and that only strengthens you because now the dawning or the birth of a new you can you know can rise um, so this nine is also giving me a sense of like the nine of Pentacles where you have worked very hard very determined very ambitious very goal oriented and now you're taking on that role of leader you know you're taking the reins of your life and you're moving in the direction that you see fit and because you're moving uh in your authenticity or you're being your authentic self in these moments you now are in a space where you are going to you know, attract what you are. So you are receiving wish fulfillments and blessings. If you think of the hermit, he's in a cave, but he's looking into the lantern and there's a star. So it's almost like you are setting the intention for your wishes, for your dreams to come true. So that is a very beautiful energy. What we have on the um, playlist is we have KRS one why is that? <laughs> so for some of you, like I said, you could be in that hermit mode. You could be pondering, soul searching. So you could really be, you know, kind of questioning things that took place or maybe you're questioning things about your own self. Um, why is it that I do X, Y, and Z? Why is it that people treat me X, Y, and Z? Like you could be really um, examining certain circumstances and you are going to find the answer to that because that's what this nine, the, the hermit is all about. It's about, you know, taking that moment to to pause to self-reflect to introspect and then you come to some sort of conclusion on the split we have 48 and that is breaks down to 12 which also breaks down to three and that says financial discipline so like I said many of you could have really been very goal oriented and focused on your careers in a very learned energy and I feel like whatever you've been working on you've mastered it and you've mastered it to the point where you now are going to receive a return on that investment like business will be blossoming and blooming uh, the seeds that you've sowed are definitely going to produce fruit so I feel like you're also going to have people that want to come and collaborate or partner up um, this is really a positive energy that I'm seeing here because it's showing your hard work dedication and ambition is also producing some sort of like you know, job well done. People are taking notice of whatever it is that you do. And whatever you're doing, you absolutely love it. It brings you joy. It brings you fulfillment. And it's also going to pay off. Um, this 12 is also showing that there's been a lot of time in that hang mode. Like I said, when you're in solitude, you have a time to kind of examine, you know, soul search even. And I feel someone could also be looking at you as someone very stable, self-sufficient, or even a good catch, you know, someone that they really find attractive because all of these cards reduce to the number three because nine and 48, that's 12, that reduces to three and nine and three is 12, which reduces to three. So this is someone that could perhaps see you as a divine feminine. Um, even if you're a masculine, you're in a divine masculine energy. You're someone who has taken control, who's a very much a powerhouse, who's someone who asserts themselves, goes after what they want. And more importantly, you know what you want. You know your worth. You know your value because you have self-love. The nine of cups is my de la soul car card. That's the 
a me, myself, and I card. And that's I also see the Nine of Cups with that, that wish fulfillment energy where you can be deemed someone else's wish fulfillment or someone else's ideal person. And it's because you've learned that love is an inside job. So whatever heartache and pain you had to learn from those karmic lessons or you've had to wrap up from those karmic cycles, you now are prioritizing you and putting you first. And that's a very beautiful energy. You're also seen as very strong. I feel you have someone that could also be looking at you from a distance. Maybe someone is trying to muster up the strength, courage, and wise doom to come towards you. So I see here 90, um, 81 leadership, and then you have the 46 domestic partnership or domestic harmony, pardon me. So this is showing that there is, again, you know, the sense of like something ending because 46 could give like the Ten of Pentacles. I always think of the Ten of Pentacles with this energy, but it could also be like the Ten of Cups. It could also be like the, um, you know, that that uh, Wheel of Fortune that I was speaking to. So if there were some sort of blockages or delays, it was because you were in this role of really be being very guarded and protecting your energy so that you could focus more on yourself, focus more on whatever goals and dreams and aspirations you had so as not to overcompensate for others because that was something you learned before is to prioritize yourself before others. And so now there could be a brand new start because this nine and this 10 that reduces to one. 46 reduces to one. So you have a brand new beginning, a brand new start. And we have right now always on my mind. And this is by Michael. Michael Babuti. I don't know what, what his name is. But always on my mind. So with that um, 46 and that one, someone also that you could have been in a partnership where it may have um, ended and tumultuously is what I heard. You're always on this person's mind. Someone's name could be Michael also uh, because that's the artist's name. Let me see if it shows it better. Michael Bubble. Always on my mind. And then the album was called Call Me Irresponsible. And so I just want to show you because I know it's hard for you to see from back there. So you see that? Call me irresponsible, Michael Bubble. So someone is like, you know, kind of like in a bubble because I when when it, when I see that bubble, it's like, you know how they'll have like the bubble when you're leaving, like if someone's thinking when someone's drawing, they'll have that bubble to show what the person is thinking. And so I just feel like someone is literally constantly thinking of you. That is something that this person, um, you know, is coming to grips with. Because I was getting someone who is seeing you now in like your divinity as a divine feminine or masculine. Because that three was given like empress energy. So let's tap in. So who, what is the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. My beautiful, beautiful angels, beautiful spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. My spirit of peace, power, protection. Get a good shuffle with the cards. I cleanse them with some Palo Santo so they feel good. Maybe seeing a lot of synchronicities as well. 11-11s, 444s, 333s, 111s. You could be seeing anything. Maybe you're seeing 1313, you know, 1212, 111, 444. I saw 333 and 444 this AM. And I just like to show and prove. For those of you that know me, I like to show you better than I could tell you, beloveds. So let me show you my 333s and 444s. Can you go away? Because that's not what I'm asking you to do. All right. So did I even get it? Let me see. Okay. That was yesterday. Go away. Yeah. There it is. So I saw that one. I don't think I took a screenshot of the 444. Did I? Wait. Did I? Yes, I did. So that was this a.m. I woke up and caught 333, stayed up. I was doing some things, and I ended up staying up long enough to see 444. Uh, my rest has been crazy. I don't know if any of you all are dealing with, like, um, you know, um, insomnia. But I won't call it insomnia, per se, but I do get up quite frequently. 
and I just get up and pray or get up and listen to, you know, positive things, meditation stuff, meditation sounds, videos, binaural sounds. So right now we have superheroes. And remember, I was picking up like, you know, the chosen. So you all are like superheroes. You could be someone else's superhero. Someone may look at you like a superhero because of everything you've been through. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you're just into comics. Some of you could be into like Marvel comics or DC comics. Maybe you're into anime or, you know, something like that. I'm hearing also um, that some of you could be like, you know, um, like artists. Like you may draw some of you for some of you. So superheroes. So someone's looking at you like a superhero. Like you are literally like... <laughs> you know, someone just very magical and powerful and just wise. And that could be the reason why someone was a little, um, you know, apprehensive and coming towards you. Why you were constantly in their head. They're constantly thinking of you. Maybe this is, you know, the, the them looking at you in a whole new light now because they've had time to kind of look at things from a different perspective or vantage point. And this is dome. It says dome. And so when I think of dome, I think of the mind. I think of the brain. So your, I call it the attic dome. This is our attic. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So this is the attic, and then your base, your basement would be your base chakra. So the attic. So you're definitely living in someone's mind. And the bottom of the deck, we have adventure, and fifty-five. Um, that's another ten. We open the reading with ten. And we saw 10 when we split the cards, and now we have another 10. So I feel there's something destined. I feel you are due some sort of adventure because it's been very rocky road. It's been just a very, like, a very, um, I don't want to say difficult. That's too easy a word. It's just been a very turbulent journey, you know, this this dark night of the soul journey has been turbulent, but I feel like spirit is saying like there's adventure. You have something exciting coming and this is someone or something that's like, you know, in your made in your image or this is something that is going to suit you. It's going to feel good. And spirit is saying be spontaneous. Just take the leap. Take the you know, just just go for it. Because I feel whoever you're attracting or whatever you're attracting, it is definitely like. It's in the same energy. And I feel the energy is just like learned, you know, mature, you know, informed. This is a very beautiful energy. And I feel like with Dome, this may be someone who might stimulate you. And we have Nas, my Bible. And so Bible, I always think of the um, acronym for Bible, um, basic instructions before leaving Earth. Earth. So for some of you all with that 10, many of you may have had to return to, you know, your Bibles or to scripture just to, to get the strength to overcome certain obstacles, you know, and now you're just, you're ready to live life to the fullest. Like you're ready to just really enjoy life, step out out there, you know, step back out there and just enjoy it you know because it's been so turbulent i feel there's an exciting new beginning chance and i also feel like the wheel that i was picking up earlier it is turning and it's bringing in this excitement it's bringing in whatever this is that's destined for you this could even be someone who's just very fun light-hearted you know, very spontaneous, spontaneous, um, and they're going to bring out your spontaneity. But this is someone that is like, they like to take risks, so they like to do different things. Or they could be someone who loves to travel. They love to, you know, take walks in nature or hike or camp. And it's things that are out of your element, but it's like you're willing to do it because you're with someone, you know, that you enjoy being around. I feel this is also something that you've been manifesting because that one is the magician. So this could be something that you're manifesting. Maybe because your lives have been so turbulent in the past, you've been just calling in for more excitement, for fun, maybe a partner, um, you know, that isn't like a bump on the log. Maybe you've had a partner that was not very spontaneous or very stuck in their ways or very just rigid or just kind of like, you know, not really 
not really into um, doing new things or trying new things and it kind of limited you in a way because you you didn't really have the experiences that you wanted to have because you just kind of you just kind of put those things to the back burner because you knew your partner wouldn't be interested but now you're going to meet someone that's made in your likeness you know those fives are dealing with the hierophant so that is someone who's you know also has as really gone within to do a lot of work on the self maybe they've been going through their own rites of passage or initiation or maybe this is someone who has simply just sought some form of you know advice or uh just in a better understanding from elders or from matriarchal and patriarchal um figures in their family and there is a branch that is like rubbing on my window. So if you hear that, I apologize to your ears. I do not know how to um, stop that. But uh, they they have yet to come and trim the uh, branch. It literally has ripped into my the uh, screen. You know, you got the window and then you have that like that screen. And it's like literally tore into that. So, yeah. So we have 48 financial discipline here for who or what you're attracting to you. So this is someone that wants to come in and build and collaborate. This is a divine masculine because this one and this three reduces to four. And so this is someone that definitely feels like you're a good, you know, like you're someone that they can see themselves with long term marriage, commitment, building that happy home. You know, happy house, happy spouse type of vibes. That's stability and security all in one. This is someone that definitely could see themselves in a partnership or in some sort of divine union. Because that four is 1111. And 1111 just alludes to the fact that this could possibly be like a twin flame. But this also could just be, speak to the stability that this person would like to um, establish with you. So with this 48... I feel they want to collaborate. They want to uh, build some form of an alliance, partner up with you. And this is someone you haven't spoken to in a while. There could be a lot of communication telepathically or intuitively. Or this person could just be thinking of you. Remember we saw Dome. And then we also had um, we also had KRS-1 um, you know, with why is that. And then we had Michael Bubble saying always on my mind so that same person that's pondering because this 12 is the hangman in traditional tarot but that three that the 12 breaks down to is like given the three of swords so someone is healing and recovering from heartache from loss and that's this person who can't get out of their head because now they're starting to see a lot of the errors a lot of the mistakes you know, that they've made in the past. So a card flipped over and it's that same card, 46 Domestic Harmony. I'm getting someone from the past. We got 1010 here. So definitely someone who's kind of mirroring you in many ways. This is a mirror reflection of you. So I was saying Dark Knight of the Soul Journey earlier. And with Domestic Harmony, I do feel like, you know, this is someone that is seeking like that happy spouse, happy house type of vibes. This is someone that can see, you know, building like generational wealth and family and business and love, wills. This is a support system. This is a devoted partner, a logical partner. This is someone very practical even. 10 and 10 reduces to 20. I feel someone is having a wake up call. And this wake up call is going to force them to make a decision to take action because I'm now seeing the two of wands. They could have been up in their head a lot because remember with always on my mind by Michael, you know, I definitely get a sense of. Um, I get a sense of someone like pondering and this could have been a karmic because even with this 10 that is showing like there could have been a demise of a of, of a partnership I was picking up someone you could be separated from or someone you could be divorced from someone you could have broken up with and remember murky retrograde vibes now don't don't get all smitten 
You know, we got 88 abundance. This is what we have on the bottom of the deck when we pull how they feel about you, who or what you're attracting to you and how they feel about you. So they see that you are living very abundantly, especially after some sort of tower that fell. So whatever, you know, whatever was broken, like whatever was destroyed, I should say, you have been able to rebuild and you have so much emotional fulfillment, satisfaction and joy and strength, more importantly. And so this is why this person is drawn to you because self-love is attractive. You may have walked away from the situation because I'm getting like the eight of cups. You walked away because you felt that the connection was emotionally bankrupting you. It was nef definitely not fulfilling you in the way that you were pouring into that person. You didn't feel that they were reciprocating those same gestures. And so you may have very well walked away and that led to a tower. You know, there could have been a lot of secrets, lies, deception, and betrayal that you could have uncovered, you know, during this time as well. The 16 is the tower. And that 16 does break down to seven. So that seven is showing me like you definitely found harmony and balance uh, by taking your power back and leaving that situation behind you. It also forced you to establish boundaries to pr you know protect yourself. So you may have a protective wall or protective bubble. And that is all to, you know, assure that you don't get hurt like that again. But I'm also seeing the Seven of Swords. Whoever this was that brought this tower down was a very deceitful person. Very dishonest. Speaking with a forked tongue. I'm hearing envious. This could have been someone that was very envious of you. Jealous of you. And it doesn't have to be like a female jealous of a female or a male jealous of a male. It could be where a masculine could be jealous of a female and vice versa. A, a feminine could be jealous of a masculine. The, it doesn't matter who it was. You could have it, You could have also been sleeping with the enemy. Like you could have learned that your partner was jealous of you, maybe jealous of your ambition because I was getting someone who was very goal oriented or someone who has achieved a lot. And so you've had to kind of grow through that dark night of the soul journey all on your own because you may have discovered several people that were just, you know, frenemies, people that were not des that were not um that were not necessarily like rooting for you to win, you know, but kind of preying on your downfall, so to speak. And so there were so many things that were going on and because you were so focused cuz you had that that tunnel vision towards your goals, there were a lot of red flags you could have missed. But in in the out, you know, in the aftermath of that tower falling and all of the debris that was lying there, you know, it's like you were able to take whatever you could salvage and you could rebuild elsewhere. And that's what you've done. You've rebuilt You've rebuilt so much that you're now very protective of your energy and who you allow into your cipher. Because now I'm seeing like the seven of wands. So how does this person or what Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them? We still got the 48 financial discipline here. So this is someone that definitely is, you know, trying to convince you that they want to rebuild. This could be, like I said, just your hard work paying off, um, new alliances, new partnerships, um, business partnerships, but we have the 32 music and the song that's playing right now is we have Kim Carney's Betty Davis Eyes. So someone's name could be Ken Carn Carnes. Someone's name could be Betty or Davis. Some of you all may have some very beautiful and pe penetrative eyes. Most Scorpios can see through you. <laughs> like when a Scorpio looks at you, they're not looking at you. They're looking through you. Most people you'll find can't really hold eye contact with a Scorpio because I've heard, even for me, I've heard that, you know, my, my look can be intimidating and not scary, but just like intimidating where the person will kind of break, you know, they'll kind of break away because, you know, the intensity of these eyes oh mine but yeah so that that could be some of y'all some of you all could have some very beautiful um, colored eyes shaped eyes or very penetrative eyes the eyes are the windows to the soul so someone definitely knows um, that you are who you say you are and you also can see through the bull crap because this 32 you are very mature 
So this this is like even the way you communicate, you know, your your communication is is very like this person's very intrigued. And I'm seeing 555 five, five here. And 555 five, five reduces to 15, which is the devil. So you could have someone who could be like very much like I, I just feel like this is someone just very very attracted to you because this 46 breaks down to one. One could be a very felicious number. And that's in between these fives. But the 15 is the devil. And I was picking up like, you know, someone, some of you all could have been, you know, kind of sleeping with the enemy or sleeping with someone. This could also just mean somebody, and my ears ringing like crazy. My right ears ringing. So when I said sleeping with the enemy, my right ear started ringing like crazy and it's still ringing. So I do feel like there could be some messages coming through because this 32, that's five, that deals with the throat chakra. You may receive a message from someone you haven't heard from in a while. And spirit is saying, trust your intuition because 15 breaks down to six and that's your first die. So use discernment. Because this could be a deceptive person. All of these cards here, you, it breaks down to seven. Because 15 breaks down to six, plus this 46, that's one. So that's seven. And seven is giving me the seven of swords. So there's going to be lies and deception. Someone could be trying to, you know, gaffle you. And we have liquid coke. So someone could be like on drugs. Because when you think of the devil, they have all kind of addictions, afflictions. It could be sexual, it could be alcohol. This could be someone who's also like addicted to you. Someone could be from Jersey. And I'm also hearing that phrase like stuck between a rock and a hard place. So whoever this is, whatever deception and lies they were trying to get away with, it's like now they're stuck between a rock and a hard place because remember the judgment card showed up you know this 10 and 10 reduces to 20 that's the judgment so this is showing me that someone is getting karma or someone is finally having this wake up call and what they see when they see you is maturity they see someone who's evolved some of you all could be speaking your truth standing your ground expressing yourselves you know artistically or creatively like you're tapping into your divinity as the divine masculine or feminine they also see you very harmonized because all of these reduced to seven. So now I'm seeing the chariot and that chariot speaks to balance. It speaks to assertiveness. So you're more assertive, which is why I also could could was picking up on this person feeling a little intimidated because you're more assertive. You go after what you want. You're more confident now. And this 48 financial discipline. Someone may come around under the guise of wanting to collaborate or, you know, partner up. And we have the locks, the Terminator. And the Terminator, if you think of the Terminator, that was like, you know, that was like some sort of machine, the movie. You know, so this was something that was trying to destroy, you know, the planet, Mother Earth, Daughter Earth, rather. And the locks, like the, when I think of a lock, I think of someone that's like, you know, trying to lock you down or something that's trying to keep you keep you um, imprisoned and again these cards are seven these are reduced to seven and seven in this three that's ten again someone could be observing you to try to figure out how to lock you down or how to how to lock you down I just get someone trying to because the seven and the three is ten And the 10 is the 46. This is in the placement of who or what you're attracting to you. And so this 10 is coming back up again. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Someone could be from Yonkers, New York. And we have 77 spirituality. So you have 777 here. Y'all are definitely receiving some sort of wish fulfillment of blessings. Because the 10, the 10, that's 1, 1. Wait, 1, 2. Yeah. 
So these all reduce. This is why I'm saying 777. Because these all reduce to 7. So you got 5, 6, 7. 1, 1, and then 5. And then the 77 spirituality. Some of you all could be seeing 777s. I definitely feel like you all are receiving some sort of blessing. You don't know that. But with spirituality, you're coming into alignment with someone that is on the same frequency. This is a spiritual person, a cosmic companion, a, a very divine counterpart. And this is someone your angels and ancestors are aligning you with because this is someone made in your likeness. So you all are mirroring one another. I definitely get a sense that this has taken time because spirit wants to make sure that you get it right. Good things take time to create. And so whatever you were in the process of learning and growing from, it's like now you're ready. Because what's hidden is the spirituality card is saying that you're now, you're prepared. It's like you're prepared for something that's coming. You're, you're more prepared for this wish or you're more prepared for whatever this blessing is. And this is five and five. Altogether, you got tens across the board. This is crazy. So 10, 10, and then these cards are 10, and that breaks down to 3. So I'm hearing ready, set, go. I'm seeing a 3 of wands. Something's manifesting and materializing. And I feel like what Spirit is saying is like, you know, this may have taken time because it's like, like I said, good things take time to create. But it's also about like patience is a form of action. And so you've been very busy. The seven shows that you are very spiritually, you know, in tune and attuned. And you're also very discerning and intuitive, psychic. You could be a channeler. You could be tapping into your spiritual gifts because that's right next to this 32 music. And this 14 also breaks down to five. So many of you could be channelers, psychics. You could have the clear gifts, clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient, whatever those gifts. And then you also may be just like a channeler, a reader. Um, you may read coffee cups. You may read tea leaves. You may read fire. You may read smoke. You may, and when I say read, I mean like scry. So this is a very powerful energy. You all could be, you know, absolutely. And I just saw 41, 41, and that's 5, 5 again as I'm breaking down 14, which breaks down to 5. So that's just confirmation, you know, that something that you all have been mastering, a skill you've been honing, like your sword you've been sharpening, you're, you're prepared for it. And there goes the karmic completion. And this is on the bottom of the deck when we pull the outcome. And that's what I was picking up earlier is that you've wrapped up a cycle. And now, you know, that ending is now ushering in this brand new, exciting, new beginning. So let's tap in. And we have Jodeci, you and I. Some of you all, some of you could be from North Carolina. This is someone thinking very hard about you and their relationship. Someone may confess something, express something, and we have 66 healing. And so there's two patience. What did I just say? Good things take time to create. Patience is a form of action. And so you know something is coming because I feel you manifested it. And I feel this is something that's going to make you feel very excited. With that three and that two, that's five. It could be communication that's coming because someone... Learn some lessons. So five, one, two, seven, 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 seven is twenty-one. So yeah, you you because you've wrapped up a cycle. Because this is all reducing to twenty-one. So seven, seven, seven reduces to twenty-one. Twenty-one is the world card in traditional tarot. So that means that you've gone through enormous change. You've graduated and elevated, and it's because you've been very patient. You have divine knowledge and divine wise dome. To, to impart, you know, on, you know, in, to the collective. And you've been very patiently honing these skills. You've been very patiently, you know, finding that balance, that spiritual and emotional equilibrium. This is beautiful. And then you have 66 healing. So that's the 12 yet again. 
So you may have someone who is seeing you in a whole new light. They've been watching you. They've been forced to watch you. What did I say about you having some sort of divine counterpart, cosmic companion or spiritual partner? And here it is. And that's why patience is there because healing has to take place before you can get into a relationship or else you'll just be repeating those old cycles and you'll be just repeating those old mistakes because you haven't learned anything. And so someone is definitely looking at things from a different vantage point. They got almost like this bird's eye view on who you are. And there's a lot of divine downloads, divine intervention that is assuring someone that you are their person. And I saw 4444 when I was saying all of that. And so this is definitely someone that your angels and your guides are aligning you with. This is a divine counterpart, a divine partner. And this person, whoever this is, whether this is a person from the past, we'll find out more when we clarify. Whoever this is, they feel very determined to come towards you. And we have Mahalia, grateful. Someone is now more grateful. Someone's name could be Mahalia. So someone's grateful. You know, maybe they took advantage in the past or they didn't appreciate you. But I feel like that attitude of gratitude that someone could be in right now could be the reason why this healing is taking place. It's, it's really about just, you know, being able to find reasons to be thankful, to, to, to thank universe and source. Because we could find a million and one reasons to be ungrateful and angry and, you know, dissatisfied. But, you know, when we have... You know, when we have the opportunity, we also have to, you know, wake up with that attitude of gratitude and give thanks, even if it's for the gift of living, which is a huge one. I mean, you wouldn't be nothing without your gift of life. So it's like, you know, just wake up and say thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for, you know, waking up my, you know, waking me up, opening my eyes, giving me the ability to, to see and feel and taste and have my senses like those are beautiful reasons to be thankful. Roof over your head, food in your fridge, like the vehicle that you're driving if you drive. Like those are reasons to be thankful, you know, the, the, the career that you have that allows you to have the lifestyle that you live. You know, we could find a million of reasons to complain, but it's like we have to take the time out to give thanks to to show that gratitude as well. Because God, the Most High Universe, Source, the Divine, whomever you call it, they are always listening. You know? So let's tap in. Let's clarify these messages. And then, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm clarify a few with a few cards. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that, seven. It's another seven. And it says, Daughter Personal Healing and happiness. So look at that. When you wrap up a cycle, because remember you had that karmic completion on the bottom of the deck. This is when the door can open up newness. And that's that the triumphant outcome I was picking up on. You know, the triumphant outcome, the victory. And that's because you found harmony and balance. The seven deals with the chariot. And so this is what is assured. You know, that not only are you going to have uh, this, this healing, because remember we have the healing on the bottom of the deck, but we also have personal happiness. And that's why this adventure card is here, because, you know, you're going to start living your life for you. You know, you're doing all the things that, you know, you may have been afraid to do before, or you may have, you know, wanted to do, but you, you know, just chose not to because you didn't have a partner that would really participate. But now it's like whoever is coming in, they're going to match or fly in that regard and now we have sir d evils that's devils so a lot of you all were definitely dealing with a devil or dealing with someone who had some sort of addictions or someone who was definitely speaking with a forked tongue very fugazi very phony you know wore a mask very dishonest controlling manipulative maybe this is someone who was struggling with addictions or afflictions. It could be sex addictions, drug addictions, drinking addictions. Um, we have this door to personal healing and happiness. And then we have attachment as I'm speaking to this devil. And so that could be the reason why this 55 is here. Because you were dealing with someone who was definitely dealing with some sort of attachments. This could have been trauma bond as well. You know, you and this person may have 
connected due to, you know, some things that took place in your past, which brought you together so that you can learn them lessons. And this is another five. And so the five represents challenges, conflicts, competition. Remember, I was picking up you were sleeping with someone who was definitely like an enemy. And now you are, you know, and these cards just fell out of my hand. And Spirit is telling me to kind of expound because as I picked this deck up, all these cards, these cards fell. And now I feel like I want to take those and see what that, what those are. So let's expound. So we have this 34 Daughter, personal healing and happiness. So that could be the reason why, you know, this adventure card is here. Because now that you've done the healing, now you could start, you know, moving ahead, moving forward. Because the eight that this breaks down to is like action, you know, moving forward. You know, that's also like that eight of cups, moving in a more positive direction, you know, moving with some more like, with more spontaneity, fearless. And look at that. This is confirming that journey. So taking, you know, making a decision to choose yourself. This all breaks down to 10 yet again. Because the 7, 8, 9, 10. So the 7, the 8, 9, 10 with the 2. See that? And so this is definitely saying there, there's a wheel turning in your favor. And it has a lot to do with the decisions and choices. So that's why I feel like Spirit was telling you to like, Make sure you use your, your, your intuition, you know, use discernment when you make decisions. Make sure you meditate to get things straight because that's what, you know, the healing process is all about as well. It's about really self-examining, you know, and, and, and self-discovery even. And when you come to that conclusion, then you can choose wisely. Two deals with the high priestess. So that's about you already having access to divine, to divine knowledge and wise dome. Didn't I say the magician? So you got the magician and the mirror. Something you're manifesting. So this is definitely something you've manifested. And with the six contract and then the twelve temple path. So what I am gathering here is you absolutely tapped into your alchemical Force, powers, abilities to manifest some desired outcome. And what I'm seeing here with this eight and this nine is I'm seeing that same energy I was seeing earlier with the nine of pentacles. You know, um, I was seeing that nine. Um, what was the card we first picked up? And it was nine. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I can't remember. But I was picking up the nine of pentacles. You know, where you in the nine of cups, where you really, you know, took that time to just really nurture yourself and focus on your goals, your ambitions, your dreams, but also your stability, your security, your self-sufficiency. And this is you alchemizing that, utilizing the elements around you. And we have Bob Marley, positive vibrations. And so that produced and generated a lot of positive vibrations because you were utilizing your own autonomy, as I said. And this contract, that's like the six is saying that there is some things that are, are in balance, that are in harmony. And you've had to learn the lessons. Those books show that you've learned very valuable lessons. And with this temple path, I feel like this is someone who could see themselves definitely with you but they're mustering up the strength because they're trying to figure out how to approach you how to come toward you with that 12 they're like in that hangman state you're genuinely music to this person's ears but they do see that you have matured and we have caring connection on the bottom of the deck so the way that i divvied out these cards is i put two two and then this one is the last card so i'm gonna get another card to just continue with um, the two card clarifying. So I kept those cards because it did flow with the story. So Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, Protection. Why is 32 music and 12? Thank you, Spirit. So I'm going to do the same thing. So these two cards all flew out and landed. So these two cards, there's going to be a bonus card. So the way these cards landed is they landed on the actual 
cards that they're going to clarify and that's not happenstance and then these cards are going to be for the outcome so these cards are going to clarify how this person who or what I should say how they're feeling about you or what what your um how who or what you're attracting to you feels about you and what did I say about them feeling a little intimidated this says all tied up so they're up in their head with what to say. This 23 and 32 is like interchangeable. So you are music to, you know, their ears. You could be tapping into your divinity. You could be, you know, really just maturing, growing, evolving mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And this person feels the opposite of you, which is all tied up. They're watching and observing in that hangman status of, you know, how to approach because this temple path is like them wanting to come towards you but we have this energy of them feeling a little tied up at the moment and we have angel of balance so the angels are going to step in to give this person angles you know they're, they're hoping for some sort of harmonization and we have tears for fears everybody wants to rule the world so this tears for fears is really um what's standing out i feel like this person is almost intimidated to the point where they may cry you know they may weep for you and they're calling and summoning their angels so remember i was picking up earlier with naz's bible someone could be reading their bible for strength or reading scripture to get um a different perspective but i'm absolutely seeing that someone is still intimidated in some way there's some intimidation. The cards that are going to clarify the 77 spirituality. We have Carnucopia. What did I say about you being rewarded for tapping into and utilizing, you know, your skills, gifts, and talents? Many of you, like I said, have some spiritual gift, whether it's you're a channeler, a tarot reader, a psychic, whatever it is. And because you've been on this journey to self-healing, self-discovery, and overall, just completing any karmic cycles, you're now receiving this blessing. This is a reward straight from spirit. Spirit recognizes this growth. And this is definitely because in this deck, 88, in the numerology deck, the 88 was the abundance card, remember? And this 77, what is that? 77 and then 11, that makes it 88. And so this is saying that you are getting plenty. You're getting abundance you're getting opulence you're getting fruitful fruitfulness like these are the fruits you know of your labor the seeds you've sowed they are now harvesting and you're getting carnucopia this is beautiful archangel Raphael. so you've been healing you've been healing from the past you've been healing from past life whatever this is your angels have stepped in to support you i was feeling your angels we're here to provide some support from whatever you've been experiencing from your past. And they're showing up in the reading. And this anxiety. Someone is stuck in a space, like just in prison. Remember, I was getting the, the lock from the locks. I was saying like someone was like mentally, like it's it's like imprisoned. It's It's like you're stuck mentally in their head. And this is what's hidden. And it could be because of your ascension, your growth. This is what's making them intimidated. And the cards that flew out to clarify the two patients for the outcome is we have healer of the ages. So many of you could be Reiki masters, healers, shamans, light workers, tower readers, psychics, clairvoyants, clairaudience, clairsentience. You could be channelers, scryers. This is what you're here to do. I was picking up on that. Whatever you do, you have divine knowledge and divine wise dome. Many of you are very in tune, intuitive, attuned to your psychic abilities very connected you have been initiated also so everything that you grew through everything that you've been through it was it wasn't for nothing you've been initiated you've gone through that it's been a rites of passage and many of you are reiki masters your hands are very healing you could be tapping into that you could be like healing others look what we have 
happy family. So you have something that could be healed because it says healer of the ages. So maybe many of you have healed your family dynamics, your family circumstances. There's definitely there's something showing me that there is um, this family coming back into union. And this is bringing joy and peace in your home. This is about also making the space for such things. And this eight and this four that I'm seeing here is the same, you know, that's the same uh, 12 that we saw earlier, the three, which is also saying that this is someone that wants to collaborate, partner up, build an alliance, work together. I also feel like you all are going to have someone that's like, you know, going to give equally. This is like equal give and take. And that equal give and take, along with this happy family, is given like the lovers. Because that's six. So this is a divine union partnership. And this is giving me the two of cups. So good things take time to create, just like I said. And with healer of the ages, perhaps spirit is saying that for some of you, not all of you, there could be an opportunity to heal a family um, dynamic. And what did I say about having a victory, having some sort of triumphant outcome? And this is that 28. So the wheel is turning. So whatever was delayed or blocked, whatever was causing stagnancy, is being removed. Something's turning around because your angels are definitely stepping in to reward you. And they're rewarding you because you've done the work. And on the bottom of the deck, that financial constraints is here. But this is the death of that. That 13 speaks to the death. So the death is saying now that your angels can move in your favor. Your angels are coming in to support you. The spirits, your team, that's five, that's 32. So maybe there's some good news that flows in that you've been waiting for. Because I was hearing some of you all were getting promotions. I was hearing some of you all were getting a $10,000 increase. I was hearing some of you all were getting a $10 increase because 10 was significant. And then this 10 victory is here showing that So for the outcome. So whatever financial constraints or worries or concerns you may have, this door to spirit is opening up. And the third chakra is here. Spirit is saying, and this is also a 10. So this is saying, you know, brave your light, walk in faith and not by sight. Because this door to value, money is going to start pouring in. Your fruits will start blossoming. Offers will start coming in. And this is a, you know, the king of pentacles type of energy where they come in and they're very devoted. They're very domestic. They're very practical. They're very logical, but they're also givers, nurturers. You know, they're very grounded. This is a beautiful energy of someone who loves to take care of their partner. This is beautiful. So that's what we got on the bottom of the deck. So let's clarify with some tarot cards. So on the bottom of the deck, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. So this wheel is coming out several times. We started with 10 and now we are... You know, picking up that 10 again. So this wheel is saying something's turning. I also feel like, you know, something's coming full circle. It goes the five of swords. So if there were stagnancy, if there was, com you know, communication blockages, arguments, discord, in a connection, that's what's churning. That's what's turning. Spirit is removing that stale, stagnant energy out of your life to make room for something new. See that? Movements forward. And this is still the wheel. So something is rushing in. Good news. Good opportunities. Someone could be coming towards you. And we have Jean Grey, Love Thirst. So whoever's coming for you or coming towards you is someone who is thirsty for you. This is someone that really genuinely cares about you, loves you. This is someone that is like attracted to you, maybe addicted to you. I was picking up the word addiction. And look at this. You got the star. They see you as a star. They're ideal. Maybe you are having some sort of success. And this person is kind of watching from the sidelines or watching from behind the scenes. Maybe you have a social media platform and this person is just watching you. But they see you as a star, as a wish fulfillment. This also says that you, 
have remained very hopeful and optimistic. And because of that, you have these blessings, you know, pouring through. You have carnucopia, financial blessings. You have victories, you know, victorious outcomes. And these are things that you've manifested, you know. And this is like, it's written. This is you getting your just due. The door to personal healing and happiness is assuring you these victories. And this wheel is, is definitely saying this is, you know, it could be financial blessings, opportunities. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me scan down a little bit. Clarify these messages. Look at that. You got the page of cups. Good news. This is going to make you feel so fulfilled and so elated and overjoyed. I'm telling you, this door to personal healing and happiness is coming out first is really confirming, you know, that there's something good coming. And I, I just keep hearing the saying, good things take time to create because you've been waiting for this for a while, but you wasn't waiting and sitting on your hands waiting. You were still proactively working on yourself. You were still proactively honing your skills. You were still proactively working towards your dreams and your goals. You were still proactively being a mother or a father. You were still proactively just fine-tuning things in your life. And that's why these blessings are coming in, because you've earned them. I heard rewards, you know, when that carnucopia. Let me finish my shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. And the card that's clarifying is we have the Seven of Pentacles. So look at that. This is hard work. This is dedication. This is drive. This isn't easy to achieve on your own, but you did. There's a feeling of dissatisf you know, dissatisfaction, you know, because, you know, who wants to be alone doing all of this? But it's like in the beginning, it could have been more of a burden. But, you know, I feel you, you eventually just learn to stand perpendicular on your square. And this has been quite the journey. You know, quite the journey. You've been on the journey. And so spirit sees all that you've been able to acquire and attain on your own. And that's even all the more reason why you are being assured, you know, what's hidden is that you don't even realize, you know, that what you may be stressing over, whether this is your energy or who's coming towards you. It's like there's no reason to, to, to fret because the blessings are coming, it's assured. And who or what you're attracting to you, we have the five of wands. So that's the competitive energy I was picking up on. The secret competition, the conflict. You know, that's that energy that could have led to the demise of a relationship, having other people competing against you or challenging you or in secret, you know, just secret competitions, just very challenging energy. And then you had to transmute the energy, you know, and because you were operating in, you know, in a just way, that's why, you know, this, this mama ma'ad is coming through to set the, set the scales, you know, for you. And we have till Tuesday voices carry. So there could have been a lot of arguments, you know, arguments, discord, disagreements, just petty energy all together. And that led ultimately to the demise of the relationship. So let's see, or the friendship, or the job ship, whatever it was, whatever ship that was. Let's tap in. Why is 46? Domestic Harmony, 53. Magician in the Mirror, 6. Contract here. And we have the Fool. So this is that person that is looking at things, obviously from a different perspective. With the Oh, this is the hangman, pardon me. Um, so that makes even more sense because remember I was picking up the hangman earlier. So this hangman was forced to look at things from a different perspective and they may have gotten some karma for their actions because right next to this uh, contract, I'm just getting like this could have been someone you could have been in a marriage with or maybe this is someone you resided with. You both were on the lease together and you know there could have been some some confusion with that something ended because of that someone was very manipulative as well in this relationship trying to get their way was their way or no way or their way or the highway but now someone is being forced to look at things from a different perspective whether this is your energy or the person you were dealing with or who or what uh you are attracting to that's where they are now pondering i was picking up that 12 and there goes the chariot i mentioned 
So how they feel about you is you're in harmony, you're in balance, you're someone that they can see has made some form of, you know, changes in your life. Like you've alchemized some things in your own life and you found that emotional and spiritual equilibrium. And that makes you more powerful, but you're also more assertive, more assertive to go after what you want and more assertive to say what you need to say, stand your ground. And this may be someone who could be a little intimidated by that, especially if they are realizing and, you know, uh, noticing that they've made mistakes in the past. But this chariot is showing that they see that you absolutely are victorious and moving full steam ahead towards your goals. This is someone that sees you to be very attractive. And we have the Hierophant here. This is what's on the bottom of the deck when we pull what's hidden. And so we have strength. So how they feel about you is you are very strong, strong-willed. You are a strong-minded person. And you are just the very embodiment of strength because you've endured a lot, overcame a lot. And they also see you as this star. So you got these two beautiful cards. They see you as the star. They see you as the star of the story. You know, when they think of love, you're the star of the story. And this is someone, like I said, that could be trying to muster up the strength, the courage, and the wise dome to come towards you. With this Hierophant, you have definitely matured. You're very intuitive. You're very psychic. You've sat at the feet of the elders. This 14 breaks down to 5. So you are maturation. You have reached the level of maturation. And for that, you are rewarded. That's a spiritually strong individual. Even if this is you, you know, um, growing in your career, if this is you really establishing yourself in your business, Whatever you've been working on, it's like you're reaping the rewards of that hard work. And it's because you took the necessary time to heal, to grow. This is beautiful. And that's why you have stability, because this is 11-11 here. So, you know, some of you may be blessed to have a partner that will also uh, be very supportive and very giving and... Um, very generous, you know, just a very generous soul that may help you, you know, establish some business um, or you may go into business with this person. So with this uh, Hierophant here for when we pull um, the card for what's hidden. Oh, my card fell. So what's hidden in the energy wise, 77 spirituality, 11 carnucopia, 38 Archangel Raphael, 18 anxiety here for what's hidden in the energy for our Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. And we got a couple messages and there goes the magician yet again. So you are the magi, the outcome. That's what's on the bottom of the deck when we pull the outcome. And so we have this page of pentacles. So there is a solid offer and it's coming in quicker than you can even imagine, even unexpectedly. This is a solid offer, a tangible offer. This could be even someone proposing. This could be someone just offering you a new opportunity. You could be up in your head stressing, you know, over this offer or someone that's coming towards you could be a little stress, you know, stressing. This could be like anticipatory anxiety even, you know, like just anticipating something or, you know, you're just kind of anxious in that way, like waiting for this offer, but it's coming and it's going to make you very excited. This could even be something that, you know, you've been waiting for for a very long time. Because like I said, with the 7-7, seven, seven, that's 14 and that's the temperance. And that could be the reason why, you know, this 18, because that's the, the moon. You know, you don't even know this is coming. That's what's hidden. So you're you're literally stuck in your head about what you don't see. But Spirit is reminding you, use your intuition, you know, use your first eye to see that seven deals with the crown. So trust your intuition. And maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe that's what you're turning to. But you're still a little anxious if this is your energy. If it's not your energy, it could be someone trying to come towards you that might be a little anxious because they know when they're coming towards someone who is very, very much in tune. But this is wish fulfillment. This is good news. This is even movement, travel. Someone could be traveling to see you. You could be traveling. 
But the magician here, along with the six of swords and this king of cups. So this is a powerful energy with the magician. Someone you've been manifesting, this energy almost looks like this energy here. So it's kind of like the same energy. So you have a masculine, especially with this healer of the ages, like I'm just getting a sense of like reconciliation when I hear that healer. You know, because we did see the healing card and then this said, you know, the door to personal healing and happiness. So maybe this is the door opening to heal, you know, a pre-existing relationship or a relationship you have with someone you've already planted seeds and roots with. It doesn't have to be that person that you were in a partnership with or married to, but maybe someone you have a history with. And this could be this person coming back because I was getting a past person. It could be a past love. It could be someone you dated. It could be someone you worked with. But this is someone you know, someone you lived around. This is someone familiar coming. And what they have in, in mind when they think of you, um, even what you're thinking about is you you want the whole shebang. You don't, you don't want you know, little bits and pieces of it. You you want the shebang. You want the whole thing. And Spirit is saying this is victory here. So let's tap in. Why is this two patients? The um, healer of the ages, the four, happy family, and victory. This is on my hand, and we're going to let it go. Look at that, 11-11. I can't make this ish up. So the four of wands, just as I said. I mentioned the four of wands earlier, and that's literally what this is. The four, that could be the four of wands. This could be a twin flame that's coming because this energy is very persistent on coming toward you. And I just get a sense of someone like literally learning from their mistakes. Someone, you know, kind of looking back in awareness and learning from their mistakes, maturing and wanting to like come full steam ahead because they just, you know, they're they're ready. It's like whatever you all experienced in your past. This is someone that now is ready. This could be someone you haven't spoken to in five years. Or maybe you haven't seen this person in ten years. Maybe there hasn't been any communication, you know, with this person. Um, you know, up to, I'm, I'm getting up to ten years. Maybe you haven't even seen or heard from this person in ten years. Whatever the case may be, this is someone that is very serious about this connection. Because they are pondering. This is someone pondering. This is someone taking onus and accountability for what they've done. You know, they could have been in the devil energy. They could have been in that shadow, you know, energy, that dark energy in the past. And there could be this mirror reflection between the two of you where you're both reflecting, you know, what the other person needs to work on. Um, and that's what the relationship was about. We have the ace of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So you're talking about an offer. You're talking about stability and security. You're going to have a victory. You're definitely going to have love. And you're absolutely going to have financial fulfillment as well. So emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment is in the works. Look at this. And this is all something you've manifested. And you're going to have your choice. You're going to have options. I'm hearing that, you know, spirit is saying choose wisely. That's why there goes the nine of cups I was mentioning also. So that's that wish fulfillment, the blessings, the answered prayers. Make sure you're not drinking too much or, you know, um, getting caught up in, you know, all of the, the darkness, you know, like the drinking, the celebratory energy, the smoking too much. And, you know, just stay grounded. We have happy house, happy spouse on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to use some cards I created and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. What is the overall energy? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Let's clarify this overall energy for my beloved Scorpios. All right, spirit of peace, power, and protection. This is literally like two decks, so I got to shuffle it like this. Got two decks together. Okay, so you got a bunch of cards that flew. And so we have praying on your downfall. Watch them. And that's on the bottom of the deck for when we pull um, who, what's hidden who or what you're attracting to you rather. And so we have the chemistry of love. I plus you equals we equals us. So this is definitely that feeling of, you know, someone that you're attracting to you, um, that you bump into while you're on this journey, while you're on the precipice of this brand new start, which could also be the very reason why this door to personal healing and happiness is here. And it's it's just chemistry, baby. It's the chemistry. It's the synergy. And it's literally showing that this can evolve into a beautiful love story, a beautiful love ship. 
And it says crying is a form of power. Allow yourself to feel and release what no longer speaks to your soul. So you've had to let go of the past. Um, and that's what that decision was that I was picking up on. You're choosing yourself here. You can see you've got your luggage. There was a tough decision, but you chose you. And that's why this door to personal healing is opening, because you made the choice to choose yourself. And then we have pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. And so in that relationship that I was picking up where there could have been some you know, like there could have been some folks that were in like secret competition or you could have been sleeping with the enemy and my nose is starting to itch. You all know when my nose starts itching, that feels like spirit is saying I'm on the nose. So it's like whatever it was that you were ignoring, whatever signs divine intervention spirit was showing you, you were ignoring it. Remember, I saw the 18 earlier of 88 abundance. And I was saying that's the 16, the, the tower. So something had to crumble. Something had to literally be destroyed so that you could rebuild on a more solid foundation. And this is what you had. You had, it says, every evil eye that's watching you shall go, by, go blind. Impenetrable wall of protection. And so that's what you are dealing with. That's why you were able to overcome certain obstacles that people were trying to, you know, um, cause you. Um, even the individuals that were trying to sabotage situations, they ended up suffering the consequences. Because remember, this 10 and this 10 for the overall energy, remember I was saying it was judgment. So this person got judged for their evil deeds. We also have for the love of money, cheddar, cheese, dough, biscuits, and it says greed. So this is someone that was very greedy. This is someone that was my way to the highway. They could have been could have been with you because it was just more, you know, it was it just offered more security for them. Or they could have been with you because you were the breadwinner or because you were paying the bills or whatever the case may be. But they had evil intentions. They were very, very much entitled or very, um, just very, um, what do you call that? Codependent. Thank you, spirit, for whatever you provided. And then we have return back to sender. Every evil eye shall go blind. So this is the second um, second time this has come out. So you do and did, and even in the former reading, have some folks that are very jealous and envious. And that energy has come out a couple of times. And that's really why I was picking up the necessity to protect your energy, to protect and establish boundaries with individuals. Because when you have this type of energy here, um, it could really, really lead to destruction if you're not privy or mindful of who you have around you. So that's why you know, justice, you know, because this contract, that's why the contract ended, because whoever was being very manipulative and conniving, um, that's why the situation ended, you know, because you were able to discern that it wasn't the best for you. Maybe you're the one in this hang mode um, status that started to observe your situations and your connections uh, for what they truly were. What we have playing right now is we have, um, sorry. And we have called the promoters Dave East. So with Dave East, I'm getting a sense of like, you know, this is someone named Dave. Someone could live on the East Coast, on the East side of town. Um, but I feel like with call the promoters, like this is someone that was like constantly because I was picking up earlier, like people just calling when they have bad news or calling when. There's the, just negative with negativity, just circulating or like um, just kind of reinforcing the negative context and not necessarily like calling when they have good news or calling just to, to see how you're doing genuinely. It's just really just to relay those negative motion. But this is like they're promoting the negativity. So it's like we're calling call the promoters. It's like that is because this is like an intention to kind of weigh your energy down is what I'm picking up. So with praying on your downfall and call the promoters, they could also be having, you know, conversations with other individuals as well. And you could be picking up on that. So who or what you're attracting to you with call the promoters. And we have, okay, so these cards were sticking out and I'm going to take those. But it says be healthy. Health is wellness. And so with call the promoters, so this is also like reminding someone that they need to be in the best shape. Your health is 
absolutely your wellness. If you're not healthy, you have nothing. You can have all the money in the world, but if you're not healthy, you cannot enjoy it. So this right here, who, what you're attracting to you, this is someone now who is realizing that they wish to be around or involved in relationships that are healthy and not toxic. And with call the promoters, you know, I feel like this is someone that wished to call you um, because they know you promote those, you know, those positive and um, positive emotions. Um, you just got posy vibes all around. Um, and we have too much of anything can be bad for you on the bottom of the deck. And I was just talking about drinking because I was just seeing celebrations and toasts, but I was seeing someone just kind of drinking a little too heavy. And so it says, um, you will be the first millionaire in your family. It is written. So with be healthy. So maybe this is about, you know, maintaining your health. I was just talking about being the richest person in the world, you know, and but if you're not healthy, you can't even enjoy it. So this is what spirit is saying. Be healthy, mind, body and soul, you know, and financially you'll be able to enjoy life. We also have wear your protective jewelry amulets, ward off the evil that lurks. So there's still some some jealousy and envy lurking. Um, people that are liars. I was picking up devil energy. So Ju Judas energy, liars, um, you know, people who are, you know, the gift the gabbers, uh, fugazi individuals, just say anything to get what they want. And then we have accept the apology you never received and take your power back now. So what you're attracting to you is this energy of in, of owning, you know, owning your power, owning who you are, you know, and not allowing whatever took place in the past to keep you hindered or blocked or stuck and stagnant. This is literally about seeing things as they are and letting these contracts, you know, expire because you have that ability to manifest whatever it is you desire around you. And so if this connection that you were involved in is unhealthy, I feel like that's what you are going to do moving forward is you're going to release it because it says accept the apology you never received. Some of you all could have been stuck waiting for an apology um, with too much of anything isn't good for you. Someone could really be obsessively watching you, you know, because how they feel about you too, too, too much of anything isn't good for you. So it's like someone is obsessively watching you. Someone is obsessively thinking about you. We're all tied up. You know, this is something they're telling themselves. This is a narrative that they're telling themselves. And then we have Larry Bird playing by Rock Marciano. And remember, I was picking up earlier that person that was stuck between a rock and a hard place because I was picking up Rock Marciano. But with Larry Bird, someone could be from Boston. Someone may love the Boston Celtics team or the... Um, I'm hearing Boston Celtics because that's what Larry Bird um, played. I feel someone is definitely getting a bird's eye view. Too much of anything could be, is it can be bad for you. So someone realizes like they could have been like very addicted or they could have had some some addictions in the past. Even if it's like sex addictions that could have led to the demise of the relationship because I just get the devil when I hear that. Too much of anything. And the devil can, you know, the, that's part of the seven deadly sins is gluttony, greed. So when you're doing too much of something, that means you're, you're, it's like you're out of control. So let's tap in. So why is this um, 32 music, the temple path, all tied up, angel of balance, the star and the strength card here. For how, um, who or what our beloved Scorpios, how this person or what Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them. Thank you, Spirit. And we have, and I just lost all my cards, and it says, single black, white, female, once your life. Now, this card came out in a form read. So you still got some, some old janky energy around. This is what, too much of anything isn't good for you. So maybe this person is just sitting back stalking your life and that's why spirit is like too and that's why you had these cards talking about return back to sender and every evil eye that's watching goes blind so whoever this is that is like is it says once your life envious sneaky hater so someone is sneakily watching you they may be even on your um social media sites people you don't even f with like that is just stalking your life and jealous 
And it says, avoid the gossip circles. Whoever gossips to you gossips about you. Know that. So just because somebody's inviting you in the circle and you think you hearing all the tea, trust when you walk out of that circle and go to minding your business, they're going to be talking about you. Did you see her outfit? Did you see her hair? Did you see, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like whoever gossips to you gossips about you because that's all they do is gossip. They circulate misinformation sitting around the, the office water cooler talking crap. And then you see them five minutes later smiling in the same face of the person they was just talking crap about. So be mindful of who you're around. And if somebody bringing you gossip, I hope you're not the one to be like, what? Stop playing. I hope you're like, nah, I'm good. I don't, I don't really care. That's not my business. You know, I wish them well. <laughs> I wish them well, beloved. You know, ain't got nothing to do with me. This avoid um, gossip circles with 77. You already know. Because you, you already know that, you know, when people come to you with mess, like you don't want to be entangled in the mess, you know, because things could get misconstrued. He said she stays starts flying around and you don't want to get involved and entangled in that, you know, because it could lead to some, you know, some anxiety. Things could be said, you know, maybe someone is having regrets of something they said. It says avoid the gossip circles. Maybe someone got caught up talking crap and you found out and cut them off or Whatever the case may be, something could be coming to surface as well. So why is 77 spirituality, the 11 carnucopia, 38 archangel Raphael, anxiety, the eight of wands, and the page of pentacles here? And it says, be thankful you fell down but got back up. All right, these cards flew all the way on the other side of the room. So give me one moment to get it. So remember I told you 1111, there goes the Twin Flame card. That's the card that flew out. And we're clarifying the 77 Spirituality, the 11 Carnucopia, the 11. So that's 1111 right there. Archangel Raphael, he heals that heart chakra. Or he just heals. He's a very healing angel. Um, we also had the Anxiety card. And then we have the Eight of Wands along with the page of pentacles and remember the outcome the 11 11 card also flew out so with this twin flame what's hidden it says a, a house of mirrors commonalities in interests values strengths hope weaknesses aspirations fears and vulnerabilities so this is the very thing that you and your person will reflect to the other. Just as I said, you will reflect to them things they need to work on and vice versa. So someone is looking at you and realizing they still have a lot of work to do because they're up in their head. They're very anxious. And Archangel Raphael is here to help heal this person of their anxieties, to calm them, to bring them back on down to reality, to ground that energy. So we have be thankful here on the bottom of the deck. And it says you fell down but got back up. And that's literally what I was saying. You know, when you grow through certain experiences, you could either sit in self-loathe and be in a defeatist state. Or you can rise like the phoenix, which is what most Scorpios do. And you fell down and got back up. And now you're receiving the victories. You're going to have this happy family. And you're also... Coming into your own power with that healer of the ages. Um, and I also feel like this this happy family is just confirming what we have here. Because that's four and four. So that could be very well, like I said, you know, um, the restoration of a relationship, rekindling um, a connection. Or maybe that's just you coming into union with your twin flame, your soulmate, your partner. So let's tap in. Why is this two patients? 51 healer of the ages. 28 the um, victory and the four happy family and we got flighty ins and outs on the bottom of the deck impulsive and unreliable blocka 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 I think not and it says go deeper you haven't even scratched the surface so the card that flew out is you got people preying on your downfall so s folks is watching you literally have victory you know you're having victory uh, maybe there's some folks that's a little jelly that you're coming into a more healthy um, partnership or union with a person I want to get another message 
because you know me I don't like to stop at that stankness thank you spirit and it says love is a battlefield is it worth the fight questions seek answers so this sounds more in alignment with what I was saying earlier about you know reconciliation or maybe even rekindling a connection because there has been some battles between you and whoever this is that's coming back this is that same person I was picking up that was willing to fight for their family um, however with praying on your downfall there is some folks you know that may not be very happy about this reconciliation or you rekindling something because this could be someone that this person may have been um, tied to or attached to in your separation or vice versa someone you could have been tied to or attached to it during the separation and now there is this you know this kind of this uh tug of war going on but spirit is reminding you that you have to you know seek the answers you know and the answers are always found within so that's why you have to meditate to get things straight and what we have on the bottom of the deck is as the world turns and I mentioned the world card so this world is saying that you have graduated you've reached that level of you know profound insight you know you've learned how to navigate this world um, you have a deeper more profound understanding of yourself um, this is definitely saying that your experiences your perspectives uh, have evolved um, you're in spiritual alignment and you're wiser and so this shows the growth this also speaks to distance um, you may be very distant from these individuals which is why you know they could be praying on your downfall because you feel unreachable or unattainable to them uh, I want to get additional messages um, from the soul's journey if you could come on over here thank you and what we have is discipline on the bottom of the deck and it says I can accomplish what I set my mind to and so that is the drive that I was picking up on you know like whatever was destroyed in your past you had to have some sort of resilience you know you've had to persevere through whatever those obstacles were especially if towers fell you had to muster up the strength the courage the wise dome to rebuild and so with discipline that is all encompassing of self-love, self-worth, self-value. And then you have the self-discipline that you are, um, you know, that you're in. And this is how you are able to uh, be able to complete those karmic cycles and those lessons through your discipline. So that's beautiful. So let's tap in. Why is, what is the overall energy? Why are these cards here for the overall energy? 55, adventure, the door to personal healing and happiness, the journey. Why are these cards here? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And that's Seven of Pentacles and all of these other clarifying cards for the overall energy. Let me get another message, Spirit. So you see how this card is sticking to the side, and it's actually two or three. So we're going to take those. And the bottom of the deck, we have indecision. And remember, I was picking up on someone, you know, kind of pondering. And this is the same energy with Judas. So when someone's indecisive, it could be because they want their cake and eat it too. Uh, it says, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So someone wasn't using their intuition. They were, may have been thinking with, you know, that third leg. They could have been thinking, you know, from a very low vibrational, let's just say that. But we have fear. Fear came out. So it says, I realize that I am resting my, what is that? Oh, I, I realize I am testing, testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So fear to me is false expectations appearing real. And so, you know, that's when you think someone is going to change eventually to be the person that you want them to be. And all the while, like life is just dull and boring because that person that you're expecting to change or come around to you know engage in some of the things you enjoy it's like they never come around and it's it's the fear of leaving that behind and and choosing yourself that keeps you stuck and stagnant um but all the while God was giving you the signs and those are, that's when this, the tower falls because you weren't paying attention uh, to the red flags and so when you finally took a pause took a moment 
uh, to, you know, look at things for what they truly were, you realize, like, the, the writing was on the walls, you know, and you couldn't allow fear to hinder you or hold you back anymore. So you left and then you accepted, you know, the truth of the matter. And it says, I, I can't see, it's so dark in here. And it says up against the wall, group home, up against the wall. So you felt like your back was up against the wall in this home. You know, there could have been a bunch of people um, also that were involved um, with, you know, the shenanigans that were going on in the house. But it says, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So you realize that situation, you couldn't change the person just as I said moments ago. And so you finally accepted it for what it was. And so all the fears, you know, because only when you are in a codependent relationship, you will have fears kind of keep you bound um, to a situation that isn't necessarily good for you. And when you come out of that fear mentality, then you can start walking in faith. And the last card we have is empathy. So maybe you were empaths and you were very invested emotionally, very compassionate and sympathetic to the individual. And it was at a cost um, for your own, um, you know, it was at a cost for yourself almost. Um, so it says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. And that's what Scorpios naturally are very empathic and very emotionally intelligent, especially the ones who've done the work, who've done, you know, that dark night of the soul journey. You tend to be very empathic. You could feel other people's pain. You could put yourselves in other people's shoes, but it feels like you did that to your own detriment. And that's where you had to draw the line and accept that this situation was one that you couldn't change. And, you know, we can be creatures of habit Scorpios because we are fixed signs but I feel like once you really took a step back and you started to trust your intuition and listen to the most high that's when you realize like the most high was giving you you know all of the signs in the world that it was time to you know walk away from something that was no longer serving you or your highest good and it wasn't you know the the what you wanted but you knew ultimately that was the best thing for you. So with this indecision, we're going to pull for who or what you're attracting to you. Someone couldn't decide between their family or, you know, the streets. You know, someone was definitely torn between either two people or two different lives. You know, they were living double lives is what I'm getting a sense of. But um, this is someone that you've had to just move on. You've had to heal without an apology or explanations or someone even owning and owning up and taking accountability for their wrongdoing. Uh, someone who lied like it was easy to do. You know, they just, they, they were, you know, definitely habitual liars. Um, they couldn't tell you the truth if they tried because they lied their whole life, you know, and it's out of fear of, 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 you know, losing the control, you know, and that you never really have control if you have to lie to get it. And so this is someone that just lied because they didn't know how to be real. Um, and then they started to project uh, a lot of insecurities. What I see here is that you are on this road to achieving some sort of success in your life, you know, um, and you're also healthier, mind, body, and soul. Uh, and you have this energy around you that's very envious and jealous um, because you've been able to reestablish uh, or even to rebuild after something was destroyed. So this is something that really frustrates them. And with it is written... I feel like that's the destiny that I was talking about. Many of you are going to be like, um, you know, I'm saying many. That's not a mistake. I feel like many of you are really stepping into your power and you can really generate millions. Like you can, you have million dollar ideas and we have Nas the message. And you know how I'd be like, message. So that's a message for you all. Some of you could be from Queens or someone just sees you as a queen or a king even. Someone's name could be Nazir. Someone could have grew up in Queens Bridge 
with indecision. This person is definitely feeling foolish because they were indecisive. And now they're seeing you like living your best life. You're successful. You're healthy. You could be in the best shape of your life that you've ever been. And someone is feeling foolish. You know, and this is almost like I said, like this is their karma because they're having this wake up call because those were the cards that I was picking up before. Like this person is now having this major wake up call. And it's because they were indecisive and confused in the past, couldn't choose. Let's tap in. And this is that same person I was picking up earlier that was like deceptic, like a Decepticon. Because remember, the Judas flew out also. So that's that's a telltale sign that this person is very uh, deceitful. How this person feels about you is lonely. You know, they miss you. It says, I know that I am never alone. So they really feel alone. And it says worry. So someone is really worried. They're worried they're going to lose you. They're worried that they've lost you even. And it says, damn, I can't even read this. It's so dark. And we got, this could be love. So someone may be now realizing like, you know, what they're feeling could be love. I got to turn the damn flashlight on. It says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah, because worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So whoever this is that was worrying, maybe someone is realizing like worrying about money, it wasn't even necessary because bam, I got millions or worrying about you know, love or worrying about those petty little things that they could have been holding on to. Now they're realizing like that was foolish of them to focus on those things when they're seeing you in all your glory. And we have honesty. And this says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And what did I say? This person was a liar. It was Judas. Maybe this is your energy. You realize like, oh, okay, you know, everybody isn't going to tell me the truth, but that's what karma is here for. Because when you just lie, lie to kick it, and you just lying for no reason, that that's like there's no need to lie. I don't I don't ever have to lie to anyone because I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm not afraid to tell my truth. I'm not afraid to stand in my authenticity authenticity. And neither shall you. When you tell the truth, you it sets everyone free. And so that's what I'm seeing here is this Judas, you know, you, you realize like Everybody's not going to tell me the truth. I can't lie to myself on top of someone else lying to me either. And that's what spirit was telling you. Like, you know, God is trying to tell you something. Does that answer that this person just gave you about where they were all night? And they just come in the house at nine o'clock. Does that answer sound valid to you? Because, you know, that's just an example. Like, you know, you have to you have to hold yourself accountable as well. So the next card we have is health. And remember, we also had be healthy. So health is also, you know, it's the food that you're ingesting, but it's also what you're listening to. It's also what you're watching. It's also, you know, who you're around. And it says, I will honor the physical vessel that enriches my soul. Beautiful. So, yeah, this is about treating yourself, you know, like you are, you know, a, a, a powerful, beautiful vessel. You know, a sacred vessel. You have to be very mindful of what you're ingesting, what you're listening to, what you're watching, what you're, who you're around, period. But your health is your wellness. And then we have doubt. And it says, I release the need to know all the answers. And so someone is, you know, maybe someone was very stuck in their way, stubborn, proud, egotistical, stubborn, you know, just very pessimistic about everything. You're giving them positives, but they're just very pessimistic. And then you have surrender. And it says, I can release my need to control. Didn't I say this person was a control freak? My way or the highway, my way or no way. Like this is somebody that was just used to controlling things. And that's very, uh, that's an egotistical person. Like they feel like if they're not in control of everything, then something can go wrong or they're afraid that things can, you know, get out of hand. And it's like, you have to be able to give and take, you know, in a relationship, especially in a healthy relationship. So this person now, even if this is you, it's like you, you're going to be more receptive and open 
or whoever this is now is looking at things like, you know, th there needs to be more reciprocity. They need to be more open. They need to look at things from a different perspective. How they feel about you is loneliness. Someone feels very lonely. And this is also here, single black, white, female, wants your life. So whoever this is, is someone that you could have cut off. You could have played a major part in this person's life. Like you could have been very supportive. You could have been their ear. You could have been their shoulder. You could have been providing. You know, you were really invested. And when you parted ways or left them alone or left them behind, it's like now that that hurt has turned into anger because they have not healed And this is now turning into like envy, jealousy, because I was picking up that energy as well. I was picking up envy and jealousy. And look at that envious, you know, sneaky hater. So let's tap in. So who or what? How does this person of love Scorpios are attracting or what Scorpios are attracting to them feel about Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection. Spirit. Thank you, spirit. In the bottom of the deck, we have denial. And this denial card actually flew out. So I feel like that is the message along with the other 50 that fell on the floor. So this person has a lot to say about you. So first and foremost, this person is in denial. Because like I said, it's a thin line between love and hate. So whoever this is, the, the love that they may have had for you, it may have turned sour. Because it says denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the inside of awareness. So this is someone that is very, you know, very much in denial about what they're feeling. And there's a lot of projection because that's what I'm getting is someone who's projecting whatever hurt and pain and loss they may feel in your absence. And it's turning into bitterness, anger and resentment. Um, the next card we have is death. See that? The demise. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So this is what they're feeling hurt because the relationship has met its demise. And in the process of this demise, you've managed to transform your life. You've managed to emerge someone brand new. And this is making them feel left behind. The next card we have is friendship. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So this is someone that you was uh, befriending at one point in time. And then you may have discovered that it was a friend of me because with all these cards, single white female, you know, single black female, once your life, this is someone that was definitely masking the fact that they uh, were a friend. Like this wasn't no real friend. This is somebody that was definitely um, parading around as a friend. This is not someone that is genuine at all by any means. They see that you're happy. They see that things are going on in your life. And this is only making them more bitter and more angrier. Next card we have is relationship. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So this is what they see you like you're attracting your soul tribe, your soul family. You're building new sacred connections. You can see the sacred geometry here. So it's like your connections are more sacred. You're coming into contact with like kindred spirits and like minded individuals. And this is making them bitter because it's like you've moved on with no problem. And it's because you've matured, you know, you've matured. You may be doing music. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's like they're watching and we have Kendrick Lamar crown. So this person does see you as like, you know, royalty, regalness, royalness, like you're a divine masculine, a divine feminine. You know your worth, your value, you're not settling. We also have balance. Your life seems to be harmonized. And it says I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So this is what they're seeing, like your life is in total equilibrium, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, like you are harmonized, you are in balance, you are in tune. And remember that angel of balance was there. So balance came out twice. So when you are in balance, like you, you're absolutely having some sort of victory or some sort of success. And we have locks 
versus Dipset. And this is the verses. So when I see verses, I feel like this is someone that was in secret competition with you, especially with the single black, single white female, once your life, jealous, envious, stalker alert. I feel like this is someone in, that's in like um, a secret competition. They've been in competition with you for years is what I'm hearing. And you may not have known that because you were genuinely a friend. You were a true friend. You know, you was a, a, an empath, so you really um, cared about how this person fell to what they were experiencing in life, and they were just wearing a mask. And then we have purpose. I know what I am here to do. They see you living your life's purpose. They see you living out your soul's mission. And that is also another reason for them to be envious and jealous, because you are here doing what you were put here to do. And they could still be, you know, dazed and confused. And with locks playing yet again, remember I was picking up earlier with locks that this is somebody that was like mentally imprisoned. Because when I think of a lock, I think of like a prison or door that can't be opened or something that's locked. You can't open it. And so this is someone that's like fixated, you know, and I was getting addicted. And then we have success. It says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So not only are you successful in your business, but you also may have come into a partnership or a union with your twin flame, a cosmic companion, a divine counterpart, a spiritual partner. And this, too, is making them even more frustrated because not only are you winning in your career or your business or your finances, but you're also winning in your love ships and your friendships and your relationships. So this is also like really maddening for this person. And we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. You're a strong individual. That too is a reason for them to be a little fixated. Because no matter what, what you come up against, you always come out a winner. Or you come out unscathed. You come out better. You don't come out bitter. And lastly, we have peace. <laughs> you seem to be at peace when they are over here struggling and up in their head. It says, I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. So you're at peace, beloveds. And peace is positive energy activates constant elevation. That's why things are opening up for you. That's why opportunities and rewards are being blissed upon you. Because positive energy activates constant elevation. You are the sole controller of your universe. So you're not wallowing in self-pity. You're not self-loathing. You're not in this defeatist state. You are looking forward, upwards, and onwards. And you are protecting your peace by any means, any nest, any means, and by any strategy. And that's why your your world is is um is exhibiting that. This is powerful. This is beautiful. So let's pick up the cards for what's hidden in the energy and then we're going to wrap it up. What's hidden and then what the outcome is. And so with happiness here, you are going to be completely elated, especially when you receive these rewards, these blessings. Spirit already said the door to personal healing and happiness is opening up for you because of all of this work, everything that you've done to get here. You definitely reach that level of self-mastery. And we have about you. So someone definitely, you know, they feel happiest when they think of you. I feel like someone that's coming towards you is going to be very happy. But it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So someone is going to be very happy with you. I feel like someone's also happy, you know, when they... When they re when they come, you know, when they receive <laughs> some sort of news, like someone is offering something, something real, something tangible. This could also be like a trip. Someone's taking a trip or visiting you. So what's hidden? Why is these cards here for what's hidden? Thank you, spirit. And it says forgiveness. And it says, and we still got XXX. Um, about you. So someone may try to dupe you with an, uh, you know, an, an apology, you know, cause you got this forgive. I'm sorry. You got the forgiveness card here and that X, X, Y, Y, X, X. I just get X like an X lover or X person could be returning. 
Um, so let's see what we got. So this card says forgiveness and it reads, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So whoever this is, like I said, someone was like bitter and now they're trying to forgive. Now they're seeking forgiveness. This could be that person offering you something tangible or, you know, this is that person that could really be up in their head, you know, but with that forgiveness, they're really desiring your forgiveness. This is probably why they're anxious. Um, and then we have service. It says, I feel good when I can help others. And that I feel is naturally Scorpio's energy. You're naturally givers. You're kind, you're loving, you're caring, you're thoughtful. Um, and I feel like, you know, that's why the healer of the ages, because you could literally be like Reiki masters where you are, you know, helping people heal themselves. Um, you could be shamans, you could be light workers, whatever it is you're doing, you're doing to help heal the collective. And with this service, that's your act of service, you know, and that's why spirit is also reminding you that, you know, you got people praying on your downfall because life is good. You know, life is bliss. You having victories at a time where most people are having breakdowns, you know, and it's because you've been on this journey for quite some time. This isn't new to you. You know, you, you ain't new to this. You true to this. You've been on this journey. Some people just getting on the journey. And so it seems like things are coming to you rather easily, but you've been on this voyage. You've been on this voyage for years and now you're starting to reap the rewards of all your hard work. And to others that are just looking on, it may seem like you just getting blissed for no reason, you know? But that's that secret competition. Why you worried about what's going on in my plate? Eat your own food. Like, why you worried about what's in my pockets? Worry about your own. Like, it's like pocket watching. It's it's competitive. It's It's just not genuine. Because if someone is a true friend... If this is someone that genuinely knows you, then they should know your story, your backstory. They should know that this hasn't been an easy feat, you know, and to just be jealous of someone because what appears to be, you know, um, something good happening in another person's life. You can't assume that it's not, it's not right. Like the blessings they're receiving aren't just, you know, like it's not, you know, just for them to receive that, you know. I definitely feel y'all are more laxed. Y'all are more chill. I feel like you also need to take spiritual baths to just protect your auric field. Because we got Rock Marciano yet again playing bubble bath. So turn that bubble bath into a spiritual bath. And we got Jay Dilla loving you um, playing next. And these two cards are sticking on the, you know, out. So I'm going to take those. And on the bottom of the deck, we have self-esteem. And that says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. So you worked on self-love, self-worth, self-value. So that means that, again, self-discipline, because that's all-encompassing of the aforementioned. So now your self-esteem is strong. And now you're going to live in your truth and live in your authenticity. Which is why healer of the ages are here, along with the two patients, because that's the high priest or high priestess, someone who has taken time to tap into those divine gifts, because that is the energy of someone who has divine knowledge and divine wise dome. And so now you can impart and help heal the collective. You know, you've been initiated, you've been chosen, your angels, your ancestors have chosen you. And so this is beautiful. And so what we have with loving you, self-love is the best love, but love is also an inside job. That's something I tell everyone. You have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. And a lot of people look for validation through others, and that is the wrong thing to do. So you have to heal thyself in order to love thyself. So the card that flew out is we have failure. And so this is what this person is praying on your downfall or fall or downfall for because you appear to be having all these victories and all this success while they could be failing miserably in their life. 
And it says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So again, whoever that person was that may have failed miserably after they um, betrayed or deceived you, you know, they may have moved on and went into other relationships and the relationship just crumbled. And that is what they're realizing is that, you know, they had to learn from those mistakes um, in order to move forward. But with praying on your downfall, this is someone that very well has not learned that lesson yet. And then we have patience here. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And remember, I kept getting, you know, that uh, temperance energy from this card, spirituality. So divine timing is always of the essence. Um, when you are doing the work, it's like you could get really anxious for the outcome. You just want things to just finally be done. And it's like... Everything happens in divine timing and in divine order. And patience has come out twice to confirm, you know, or clarify patience. Spirit is saying that your patience is what is going to ultimately lead to this victory. You know, so to continue, continue to be patient with yourself and with the process because something is absolutely assured. Um, and that is a victory. That is rewards, you know, that is your happiness, that is your strength, you know, this is like so much love, you know, there's this balance, so many beautiful things, this happy house, happy family, you have so much to be thankful and so much to be proud of yourselves for for uh, Scorpios that this is really a beautiful beautiful reading and um, I wouldn't worry about these haters because it's apparent that your angels are protecting you because they've already said look every evil eye that's watching you is going blind and you already have an impenetrable wall of protection so you have a fiery impenetrable force field shield armor of protection um, definitely do some do some cord cutting rituals because I do feel like there are still some like trauma bonds and cords, like soul ties that you may have with some folks from your past. That's why they keep coming up in your readings. I recently did a um, a cord cutting ritual that you could watch on my um, Cosmic Wise Dome 777 um, channel. And you can just listen to that. I'm literally doing Reiki. I'm starting some different things on some different channels. Um, also, a good way to um, also like every day you can when you're meditating and grounding yourself. I just uploaded a declaration of full sovereignty of my I am presence uh, in my full embodiment um, video. Listen to that daily. I even put in the description uh, the actual declaration so that you could read along with it. You could print it out, copy and paste it. You could print it out, put it on your wall. That is a very important declaration to speak and to, you know, if you can memorize it, that's even better. But it's really important to speak because it's like you're calling back your energy. You're calling back your energy. Anything that's been summoned or taken from you, unbeknownst to you by contracts or voodoo doo doo hoodoo from former life uh, lifetimes. It's like you're calling your energy and your power back. So definitely start tapping into other ways to protect yourself. You could do a spiritual bath because this is definitely, especially with Rock Monciano singing um, bubble bath. I feel like that was spirit's way of saying you need a spiritual bath. Um, and a lot of you all, whatever is going on um, in your lives, you know what everything that's taken place is about. Um, you know what this is all about. You know that this isn't just happening to you for any, you know, for any reason. This, this is about you breaking generational curses. This is about you even, um, you know, summoning your energy back. Like I said, because if you were in toxic relationships with individuals, um, that could have really had you up in your head or caused a lot of pain and trauma, uh, those connections, you could still have these energy blocks 
because these individuals are still attached to you in some way and that attachment card did show up so that's the reason why a lot of this old stuck stagnant energy could be resurfacing um, and also the reason why these little negative cards like this and these cards have been coming out like crazy for you all you know what I'm saying but you also have your angels around you so that's why I don't ever you know do readings to make you afraid this is really to let you know like the power you possess you take your power back that's why I give you different tools y'all could use to summon your power back but definitely listen to the um or watch that Reiki uh, video that I did just to you know like I said just to get your energy summon your energy back and also the declaration of full sovereignty read that daily that's a very good um, way for you to demand and command your energy back to you and have full autonomy over your your I am presence so you know yeah you're you're in good hands your angels done showed up for you uh, I saw the four 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 I even saw the one 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 the three so that is beautiful energy just showing you that your angels and your guides are definitely protecting you and more importantly you know that you have the ability now to protect yourself because you have been initiated like they already called it your definitely a healer of the ages so you've been initiated you've gone through some sort of rites of passage and that rites of passage was you wrapping up that karmic cycle and learning the lessons that you've learned so thank you so much for tuning and tapping in for these two hours i appreciate you all please like share subscribe the video if you feel that the video has been helpful and until next time i send a big fat ashe yo peace love and light peace power and protection beloveds